there. So today I want to take a look at this girth. This is kind of the rave right now. You know, they're talking about um, this shape and it gives relief to the shoulder and elbow, uh, gives you elbow clearance and stuff like that. Um, I don't need that with my horse, all of my girths, because of the way my saddle fits on my horse. Um, it fits just fine. I don't need extra. I, I figured, well, it might not hurt, but I didn't think I, I had a problem and I was right. Um, this one doesn't sit any differently here than these ones um, on my horse but this thing this is different this is very nice because it's a three-piece system and this piece fits right I'll show you it fits right in his sternum like perfectly and then this stretches and then because of how wide it is And it's this one I got a soft leather. It also comes in neoprene. This is just um, a hook and loop, so you can actually change out the liner if you wish. But um, because of this whole thing, it stays on very, very nicely without having to be tight. In fact, I have it on uh, so loose, it's incredible. And we had the most amazing run today. Couldn't tell much of a difference at a walk trot. Uh, the only time I could tell a difference was at a, an insane extended trot to a full run. F flat out run, he moved his shoulder a lot better and just his whole movement was a lot freer in this than I've ever felt. This one I've been using for the last nine years, almost 10 years. And then this one I played around with using. I like it because it's the nice thick leather again. Um, it's a nice wider strap. But this was just so annoying. Where this leather is sewn, it, they actually stop it right there. So when you slide your strap in, it always hits in there and stops. And I have to physically go and dig this and dig it up in order for the strap to continue to go down there. You'll see on this one, they, they um, did not have that stupid design. When you slide your strap in here, it will slide right in there. It doesn't have uh, this... You can't, I don't think you can see it, but you know what I mean. This leather piece juts up and then it gets caught right in there. And this one does not have that. So that is great. These are a little bit stiff. Um, so I'm not too big of a fan. I wish this was softer, but oh well. And honestly, this is such a bother. I really like the simplicity of this. But like I said, this has won me over uh, because of uh, because of this this three-piece system here now this is also weird before i was using this that i slip on and attach my breast collar to this one because of this design they now have the 2d rings there and then this leather strap that comes with it and it's like this but that makes it so one i you know it's kind of weird sliding this through because i think that it's going to interfere with this whole thing plus right now i use my um heart rate monitor on him and so the electrode i fit the electrode right there which actually fits perfectly but that makes it so that i don't know where this sits and i don't want it to slide into here and pinch or anything like that right now there's no pinching or anything these are these work great so what i did instead was just um, hook on this carabiner and then i clip my breast collar onto that and then that seems to work so um, until I can think of another solution, uh, this is what I'm doing right now. So here's Lacerre, and this is the, the system that I've been using for about the last nine years, almost 10 years. And um, I, I love this girth. It's uh, the Wintech girth, it's neoprene, and I always have it on uh, the third hole on from the bottom on both sides. I can tighten this up a lot more. In fact, um, I've had people yell at me and say, this is way too loose. And he, he even just puffed up right now to make it even tighter because he thinks that I'm going to cinch it up on him. But um, I've actually even dropped it down a hole on this side. And so it's even that loose. But um, I, I like it. I like it nice and loose. But even with it nice and loose like that, You can still see where it kind of, I don't know what you call, kind of binds in right there. And that is the only thing that I'm worried about. Or I, I shouldn't even be worried about it. This is, we've done thousands upon thousands of miles in this and we've never had a problem. But look at how much shoulder, um, 
uh, clearance and elbow clearance I have. I have a ton. And that's just, see my saddle is nice and even. That's just how we go. And I, I have no slippage or anything. This works perfect. So technically, this works perfectly, and the only question for me is, can it be any better? Now, before I put the other girth on, I'm just going to show you. Underneath him, here's his elbow. So underneath him, you see here, it goes as a V out. So here's his soft belly, and then his rib cage. And the V of the rib cage is right there. That's that little area that the centerpiece just sits right into. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look like much from, from like here. You know, in fact, when I first got it and I put it on, I was like, eh, I have, I have just as much clearance with my old girth. So why am I going to waste money on this? It wasn't until I looked underneath. And then I was like, oh, this is a big difference. The other thing too is because it has this shape, um, it doesn't have to be tight at all. So this is what I was talking about when I said that, that the centerpiece fits right in there nicely. And then these pieces allows for expansion of the rib cage, which really doesn't expand that much over here. So, you know, Thinking about it like that, I was still like, eh, I was still cynical. But when he moved, when we moved out, oh my gosh. He, you know, at, at a full out run and everything, he was using so much more of his uh, shoulder than before. So uh, to show you how loose I actually have this, uh, this is a size, all of my girls are size 30s. And look at how loose this is. But it didn't budge at all. In fact, I could even mount from the ground and he's 17-1. I can pull this whole thing out and it doesn't budge because it's so thick and wide and plus the shape um, just kind of fits into, you know, at, uh, anatomically it just all fits. And so it just stays without having to be tight, which is amazing because he doesn't like it tight. And I'm sure that not having it tight also helps with his movement. So I actually have this as, uh, in the second hole from the bottom on this side and the third hole from the bottom on the other side. And I don't think um, I can have it any looser than that and still have it be secure. But look at how loose this is and it is perfectly secure um, on him. Now, part of that also is his confirmation. He has a shark fin uh, wither <clears throat> and his, so that keeps it from going to the front. And then he does have a belly that keeps him from going back. Plus I have the breast collar on it. I don't know, it's, uh, you know, all this stuff. So all of that has a play. Uh, I think, I think his saddle fits perfectly. So all of that comes into play, but I'm just saying, so there you go, um, totally recommend this product. I actually really love it. The leather is a little stiff over here, but otherwise it's very soft on the liner part. I love this technology where it can um, just totally move and stretch and it doesn't have to be super tight to stay on him. Uh, this I'm not so thrilled about, it's kind of weird to me, but I can make it work so it's not a biggie. I just like how this whole thing is because this is all sensitive down in here. And then yes, it does have uh, this shape that matches, you know, with the elbow and all that. So it gives you good clearance. So there you go. If there are any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.